feel that energy of that open heart, of that excitement. And when you move back, don't let that energy in the heart space drop. Keep it wide and open until you feel your sit bones are at the furthest point back. This is our mountain lift. And then relax vertebra by vertebra down into mountain. Exhaling, cap tuck, curl your chin in around your chest, lower back. Bend your knees, bring the shoulders over the wrists, leg lightly. In lengthen from the base and feel that play. Hands push down, stern forward, really engaged here. Watch your head when you lift your knees, that your head don't drop. Feel clearly the mountain lift. Have an inhalation there before you lower your belly to your thighs, your lower ribs, and then vertebra by vertebra between your arms. Exhaling, cat tuck from neck, chest, lower back. Feel the rounding over the back of the heart to come down. Inhaling, cat. Feel how the wave goes and goes slowly over that region of the back of your heart. Let's repeat. Exhaling, mountain lift. Hold one inhalation here. Don't let the head drop. And then next exhalation, lower belly first, then the chest, then the head. And your head just lowers to the degree that ears and upper arms are one line. Ex capta. Round over your chest. In cat, feel vertebra by vertebra going through the chest, really massage the vertebra around the heart. Repeat two more rounds. As our vertebras in the torso are connected to the ribs. It's often harder to move there. It requires a lot of consciousness to create mobility in the chest. Next time when you are in mountain, stay there. It's round your spine like a mountain tuck. In length of your spine like a mountain lift. X mountain tuck, round lower back, chest, neck, and head. And in. Mountain lift, lengthen from the base. And lower back into mountain. We need a rest, go into child, we hold five breaths. Can we love it all when we are resting and when we are engaging? Can we embrace all of our sides, all of our facets? Right side swan. If you are in child, come through cat into right side swan. Beautiful. One swan row. Round from the top to the bottom. Lengthen and take your time to lengthen through the chest. Take your blocks.
Right side, extended mountain. Be strong with your arms, broad in your chest. Feel spacious around your heart, to the front, to the back, to the sides, to the top and to the bottom. Your next inhalation, step forward and through, right side runner. Drop your back knee and lengthen from the base. Right knee over the ankle, both sides of both points of your front hip facing the short end of the mat. Inhaling, bring your arms up. Exhaling, round your spine, bring the elbows next to the body. Make fists with your hands. Inhaling, come up. And exhaling, round from the base, elbows to the sides, look to the belly button. Repeat, in, up. And exhale, round, pull the elbows in. Three more. Find a harmony in the flow, like the air flows harmonious. Feel in harmony in your breath. Last one. Release your arms over the side. Exhaling, extended leg stretch. Remember, you can always bolster your back deep. Now feel that heart space is reaching forward while the hips are going back. And inhale on the back. Exhaling gently around your spine to come forward. Sit your hips deep and feel vertebra by vertebra unfolding. And when it comes to the heart, feel the chest is vertebra by vertebra lifting. The shoulder blades are gliding down. Sway back, feel the heart stretching forward by the sit bones are going back. Inhale. Gently round your spine to come forward. Sit deep with your hips. Feel vertebra by vertebra lengthening. Feel the lengthening through the chest. Feel the shoulders gliding back, shoulder blades gliding back. Exhaling back. Inhale. Exhaling forward. In lengthening. Repeat three more rounds. Your longest exhalation. Beautiful. Nice deep hips. Very good, guys. Very good. Next time, when you're back in extended leg stretch, stay there. Exhaling, point your toes forward. Inhaling, pull your toes in. Repeat.
Next time when your toes are towards you, relax your spine, bring your knee forward, sit your hips deep, lengthen lower back, chest, neck and head. Come into raised slant, lift your back knee, glide with your right leg through. Feel the diagonal line, tuck the tailbone strong, pull with your sternum forward, shoulders back and down. Long deep breath. Beautiful, from here drop your knees. Place your blocks in front of you. Turn your finger out so they are facing the long side of the mat. Just different shoulder blades positions. And in this cat, exhaling, move your shoulder blades towards each other and inhaling, broaden the shoulder blades out to the side, push your upper arm bones out to the side. Exhaling, feel the shoulder blades are moving to the middle line. It's like you create a valley between the shoulder blades. And then when you inhale, you broaden the shoulder blades out and you fill that space. Three more. Feel with your awareness at the back of your heart. Inhale, open, let the back of the heart soften in a way of releasing tension. Next time when you have broadened, gently sway back, place your fingers towards you, and either come back into mountain or into child pose, you choose. Long, deep breath. Relax in the pose you have chosen with the full acceptance of this present moment, of yourself. Dive into an inner peace. Your next exhalation, left side swan. If you are in child, come into cat and then left side swan. In lengthen. One swan roll. In roll up. Take your blocks. Left side, extended mountain, asana. Your next exhalation, left side runner. Drop your back knee in lengthen, feel from the sacrum into your lumbar spine. Feel vertebra by vertebra through your thoracic. Let the shoulders glide down and lengthen through the sides of the neck to the top of the ear. You can choose it. We can either have the abdomen more on the thigh or lifting the chest away from the thigh. But it depends a little bit on the flexibility. We call that runner's lift when the chest and the belly, when we have here a space in between. What we, do, what we don't want is to come back up because it's firstly a hip opening, isn't it? Our runner pose. Good. From here, bring your arms up in a candle holder position. 
then round your spine and bring your elbows to the side, look to the belly button. Inhaling, lengthen your spine, bring your arms up. Exhaling, round your spine and bring your elbows to the side. Now go in your own breathing rhythm. There's a lot happening here in that pose. We have to have the balance to hold us. Our legs are working strong. We have a spinal wave opening and rounding. And the arms are just supporting that opening around the heart when we inhale and the rounding around the heart when we exhale. So if all of it is too much, you can always just choose one. You can just stay in runner. Or you can do runner and the spinal way. Or you do the whole with the arm included. Choose wisely for you. Next time when you are in a candy holder, release your arms over the side and down. Exhaling, extended leg stretch. Inhale. Ex gently around the spine to come forward. Come all the way to the front, sit your hips deep, and then feel centimeter by centimeter lengthening your spine. Lengthen through the chest, let the shoulder plates glide down, lengthen your neck. Repeat in your own breathing return. Expand, full exhalation. Inhale, deep and long. Ex, forward. Deep hips, in lengthening. Feel that breath is magic. It has a component where it's really material air flowing up. But then there comes a subtle part of the airflow where there is no actual air anymore palpate or to feel, but there is still some part of the inhalation or exhalation happening. So feel really all the way to the end of the exhalation and dive into that very subtle part of the breath where it feels like there is nothing happening but there is the depth of your in and exhalation. Next time when you're back and extend the leg stretch, stay there. Start pointing and flexing your foot. Next time when your foot is flexed, exhaling forward into runner, in lengthening, sway back into mountain or child as asana. Find that inner peace with all that is. Dive 
dive into an inner calm, surrender. Your next exhalation, right side swan. In left foot. Your next exhalation, right side, extended mountain. Inhale. Exhaling, right side, runner. In lengthen your spine, bring your arms up into a can holder. Exhaling rounds, bring the elbows in. Inhaling, can holder and up. Exhaling, lower your arms over the side and down. Lift your back deep. Lean forward to your right foot and keep the back foot pointing back. See how my toes are pointing back. There where they naturally land, they, they keep them there and you shift the weight back and you bring the ball of the foot down and the heel, both feet parallel to the long side of your mat and hip width apart. Now choose your blocks wisely so you can round and lengthen your spine. I always like to have them really tall. And have them next to your heels so that the shoulders are not pulling to the ears. Just double check that both feet are parallel if it's possible for you. Also the back foot. I see on my camera that it looks like I have it turned in, but it's, that's not the case. Mm -hmm. And exhaling, round your spine from the base. And inhaling, lengthen from the base. Beautiful. Now just repeat, X round from the base. And in, lengthen from the base. Now feel the rounding, especially through the chest and heart space, is it easier if you visualize it at the back of the body? Or is it easier for you to internally follow the movement through the front side of the body? Can you move vertebra by vertebra through that chest? Beautiful. Next time when you are in your long spine, take your blocks, sway back into mountain. Raised slant. Push your heels back, curl your chin in with the round spine, come forward. You can drop your knees if you like or keep them up. Slant. Lower down into face down. Blocks to the side. Inhaling cobra bow, lift your legs and your torso. Exhaling, lower your legs. Inhaling cobra two, lift up, lengthen. Exhaling, sway back into child.
Remember the quality of the air element, light flow, light, easy, mobile. Find that lightness in your movement. Exhaling, prep, natural seat. Inhaling, lengthen. Hinge from your hips into cat. Sway back into mountain. Left side, swan. In lengthen. One row. Left side, extended mountain. Left side, runner. In lengthen your spine, arms can hold her. X round, bring your elbows to the side. In open, can hold her all the way up. X lower your arms down. Lift your back knee, lean forward, straighten your left leg and feel. That point where the toes are just touching the ground. Then shift the weight back so that that back foot is grounded fully. Both feet parallel to the long side of the mat. Kick with the part. Blocks to your height. So you can lengthen through the chest. Exhaling round from the base vertebra by vertebra. And inhaling lengthen. Be in your spine. Get access to that spinal movement in your chest. Feel for some people when they're Go with the awareness over the back of these vertebras, they are easier to accept. For some people, when they visualize from the front of the body, the spine, it's, they find it easier to access through the front of the spine. Make sure that your head comes last. Don't let the head pop up earlier. The very last element of the chain. Beautiful. Last round. From the long spine, back into mountain. Go through mountain lift. Exhaling, raised slant. In lengthen. Feel the hands pushing down, the sternum lifting, belly hacking up the thighs, the heels pushing back. Drop your knees to remove your blocks. When you lower down, you can lower down through basic slant or raise slant into slant face down. Inhaling, cobra boat, lift your legs and your torso, elbows in, pointing back. Feel these elbows pointing back, how it opens the front of the chest. 
Your next exhalation, lower your legs to be in Cobra 1. In Cobra 2. X way back into child, child asana. And relax into your child. Feel the long, deep breath. Let every breath be expansive. Filling the heart space. And let it be that heart space, the home for loving it all. The winner and the loser in ourselves, the lover and the betrayer, the warrior and the victim the extrovert and introvert, the feminine, the masculine, the harmonious parts in ourselves, the disharmonious, the strong, the weak. Feel this love is for all in us and around us. It's bigger than you can imagine. There is no polarizing, no push there, no pull this. It's all including, no struggle. When we face illness or frustration, ups and downs. Let's access this full heart energy. Let's clear these pathways of the heart. And let's work into expansiveness, every step a little bit closer to less separation. Finding a sense of peace without any conditions. Finding a sense of inner calm without any needs that need to be met first. Your next exhalation, prep natural seat. In length. Ex cat. Mountain. Ex right side swan. In lengthening. X right side extended mountain. Inhale. X right side race runner. Keep the back knee lift. In lengthen your spine. Drop your back knee. Pull your belly away from the thigh, your chest away from your thigh, your head following. Bring your blocks to the side. Let's work on the sides of our heart space. And of course, also deeper into the hip flexors. Inhaling, bring your right arm up. Left hand on the block. Exhaling, keep the hips deep and side bend. Lower, middle, upper back. Inhaling back to straight. And exhaling, lower down. In, up. Ex side bend. In, up. Eggs lower. Repeat. 
Many side bends for today. Feel that openness between the ribs. Imagine you create more space in the intercostal areas. One more each side. You have lowered, bring your blocks forward, sway back into mountain. Exhaling, capture. In cap. Extend your right leg back into right side extended cat. Lower the right big toe side of the foot down. Inhaling, winch with your arm to the back into that side plank version and towards along the head. And exhaling, winch with your arm down. Inhaling to the heel and up and along the head. And exhaling to the floor, to the leg and back. Repeat. Next time, when you lift the arm along the ear, stay there. Long, deep breath. And if you like, come into the balancing pose, leaning more into your hand, lifting the back leg up and extending the top arm along the ear. Your next exhalation, lower your leg down, arm windmills forward and down. Back into extended cat. Back into cat. Flops to the side, lower down, face down. Inhale here. Ex cobra to roll round through the neck, chest, lower back, come up. In lengthen from the bed. Ex sway back into child asana. Relax. Spread with each breath self love into your body. Let with each breath your body receive that self love that's unconditional, all inclusive, wide open. Think of that love bigger than you could ever imagine, brighter, more loving, deeper than you could just ever think of. Keep that heart space open in all directions. Exhaling, breath natural seat. Inhaling, lengthen. 
Hinge from your hips into cat. Sway through mountain, lift into mountain. X left side swan. In lengthen. X one roll. In up. X left side extended mountain. Even flowing. Expansive movement, expansive breath. You and ex exhalation, left side runner. From raised runner, dropping the knee, drawing the belly. Away from the thigh, but keeping the hips down, the chest and head follows, flops next to the hips. Lift your left arm up, inhale. Egg side bend, feel lower, middle, upper back side bending. In, back up, feel the hips down, but the spine low. Egg lower. Inhaling up, X side bend, in up, X lower, repeat, in up, X side bend, inhale up, X lower. Repeat and feel the inhalation in its full length and feel the exhalation, the parts where it's the growth breath and the parts that are the subtle breath. Next time, when you are finished with your right side, bring your abdomen to your thigh, blocks forward, sway back, mountain, lift, mountain. Exhaling, capture. Inhaling, cap. I just turn around so I can see you better. Inhaling, left side, extended cat or prep extended cat. Bring the big toe side to the floor. Inhaling, which make your arm back to the foot and up and along the head. Exhale, lower your arm down in front of your chest. Good. And just keep going in your own breathing rhythm. The side plank versions are great stabilizer for our scapulars. All the muscles along the scapula to support it. Space around the heart strengthen. Next time, when you're up along the ear with your arms, stay there. 
love all the wobbling and the stillness, all included. Having a break, being present. Beautiful. If you like to go into the balance, lean forward into your right hand to lift your left leg up and bring your left arm up too. Beautiful. Lower the leg, extend your arm forward to the ear, lower your arm down, prep extended cat. Cat, lower into face down, either through basic slant or raised slant. Inhale in face down. X Cobra to roll. In lengthen. X back into child asana. Remaining in child. Feel where you can surrender more into the inner peace, into the inner calm. Giving permission of any tension around the heart to melt. Any armor you may have created through the time to revisit and melt away. Exhaling, prep natural seat. In lengthen, today we do two quarter turns into squat, release your hands, sit towards the right and come into squat, oops, come to the middle of your mat, place your fingers that they face to the short end of the mat and pivot on your buttocks to face the front of the mat. Hip lift to the front. Have everything ready for your inverted bridge. Exhaling, roll down vertebra by vertebra. Into knees to chest. Give yourself an all-inclusive, warm hug. Exhaling, partially climb. Inhaling, tuck the tailbone, roll vertebra by vertebra up. Exhaling, vertebra by vertebra down. Then allow really presence in each vertebra, and especially when you go through the chest. Go well, with such love to each vertebra. Mm. 
Next time when you are up, stay up in bridge. Take your blocks underneath. Choose your ideal height to achieve this hard opening. Make sure the neck is relaxed and your jaws are relaxed. Long, deep breath. Optional, bring your legs up into inverted bridge. Find the inner calm. Hands in Chana Mudra, inner eye gaze to the third eye. Exhaling, bend your knees, lower your feet down. Inhaling, lift your hips. Exhaling, remove your blocks, hold for one inhalation. And feel each vertebra releasing down. Melting, letting go of stored information in these vertebras. Letting go of any tension around the muscles. Knees to chest. Relax all around your heart. Up into your neck. And down to your belly button and solar plexus. Arms, T, legs 90 degrees for eagle twist. Or if you prefer any other twist, please choose that. Once you are with, have arrived with your knees to the left, your arms team, choose whether you want to have your head to the top or to the right. Sometimes to find more comfort in that heart space and in the alignment of the shoulder girdle, you can make a circular movement with the right arm. You can take that right arm and 
Move it down towards your leg, the straight arm is crossing the middle line. It's going to the left arm behind the head, and then it comes back into the T position. Most likely one circle is enough, but sometimes two or three circles to really find absolute comfort in the chest and around the heart. If you think of the lungs that are aligned all around the heart, have your complete breath and feel with each breath your first massaging that heart from the base of the heart to the sides of the heart to the top of the heart. When it's finished, inhaling, think, feel what is happening afterwards. The breath is not finished. There is a very subtle fading out and break before the new exhalation is coming. You and ex exhalation unwind. Knees to chest. Second side. If you want to circle with your arm, it's now the left arm that circles down over the middle line behind the head and back to T position to let these shoulder blades here be grounded as an anchor. Feel between the shoulder blades that part of the spine can move up into the body. Feel that right open heart in all directions. Your next exhalation unwinds. Take your time back into knees to chest. And then feel that, that love of that heart center that we open with our yoga practice. Then we pour it into all facets of our being. The facets that we are taught to be proud of, the facets that we are hiding. No need to hide and to be ashamed. Open that heart to the whole of your being. You are, we are humans, a human being with duality. Love yourself in that wholeness.
Exhaling, lower your feet in recline butterfly. Optional for today. If you feel you want to take a blanket underneath, just underneath your chest, not too strong, just so you have a little bit more heart opening today, a blanket, um, a bolster, and you take it underneath for your reclined butterfly. Remain in your complete breath. 